here's what I mean by peak activation. Like this, this is using a lot of arms to train my chest. Yo, superhumans, it is chest day today. So of course the shirt is coming off. And a lot of you guys are definitely confused on the optimal way to build your chest. In fact, I just got a comment on my Instagram and it was like, yo, your chest is huge. How much do you bench? And I replied, I don't bench. And that's not entirely true. I do do some barbell incline bench press occasionally, some really heavy dumbbell bench press, throw in a little barbell bench every once in a while. But the thing is, the optimal way to build your chest, really any muscle comes down to peak activation. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are huge fans of throwing up as much weight as you can on the incline bench. I know Kino Body always tells people, you know, just get stronger on the incline bench. When you people do these slow reps, three seconds down, three seconds up, they think they're getting better muscle or time under tension, they're gonna build more muscle. You can't get strong with those slow reps. You can't build strength with slow reps. In fact, there's actually studies on this. Just get stronger on bench. Guys, I'm gonna show you here today with just a cable machine. You're gonna hit every single section of your chest and you're gonna put peak activation on every single section of your chest. Now, I know there's a huge debate on can you actually target the inner chest? So this first exercise right here, um, it's at the 16 marker. It's gonna be sort of a high setup. This first exercise, I sort of just like was playing around with my form one day in Miami on vacation recently. And the first time I did this properly with peak activation, I felt more sore right here. It was literally a targeted soreness right here. So whether scientific literature, Jeff Nipper and all the scientific YouTubers say you can or can't target a muscle, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna try to figure out ways to target different muscle groups. And I don't really care what the science says because I know what I felt. So I know you guys are gonna love this move. Let me set up the weight here. So you wanna go fairly light and I don't know what we're even gonna name this exercise. We'll call it like Komodo chest flies. So here's what I mean by peak activation. Like this, this is using a lot of arms to train my chest. Now, on this form, adduction, going towards the center plane of your body is such a great way to increase your chest activation. So with that being said, you're gonna go from a slightly high to low trajectory. And what I want you guys to do, so here's the form without peak activation. I'm right here. Pretty good, pretty decent chest activation, but this is how we're gonna make it a million times better. And of course, we're gonna be using the balloon method. I'm gonna give you a full balloon method workout with these three cable moves. Now, peak activation is this, watch this. We're gonna cross the center plane of our body and we're going to squeeze for one hard second. So I'm going right over left, left over right. So I'm trying not to bend my elbows. I'm squeezing, peak, contraction, squeeze, peak contraction. This is gonna be so much more effective for you guys than ego lifting on the bench press, I promise you. So what you're gonna do here, high to low, peak contraction, squeeze for one hard second. This part right here, the squeeze at the top is the toughest part. So once you guys get fatigued, really focus on squeezing and contracting, back slow and controlled, squeeze and contract. So. That right there, just this little switch from just kind of using a fast pace to slowing it down, crossing the center plane of your body because a great way to activate your chest not only is pressing, but adducting, and then coming all the way through, right over the left side, left over the right side. Shit, forgot to take my pre-workout. What kind of pre-workout is that? You already know, superhuman Hulk juice, sour gummy bear flavor, so tastes amazing, and of course, Makes your workout 10 times better, so I'm gonna throw a scoop of here. Boom, so I threw you guys a special discount code in the description. You can also try uh, 14 serving sample tubs for less than a dollar a workout. If you guys wanna get your feet wet on the top rated pre-workout of 2019, that's not just me saying that, it was actually top rated by several big industry experts, so. Third look at the description, let's get back to chest game. So that was the first move, gonna target the inner chest, mid chest, lower chest. Now, this next one is a little bit more targeted on the lower chest because we're gonna go from a motion of high to low and we're actually gonna press into the floor. So remember guys, 
you gotta train in the direction of the muscle fiber. So like upper chest is gonna be more this direction, lower chest is gonna be more this direction. So you guys are gonna like this one. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. And I'm gonna link to all my other chest training videos on the channel. I've done a lot, probably like 15 so far. In fact, one guy commented to uh, never do another chest training video. So I decided to actually do two videos today. I'm actually gonna upload a video tonight on my favorite push-up for the upper chest. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you tap the bell. And this move right here is really unique. Now, it, it might look similar to the last one, but the big difference is, think about punching the floor. Think about punching down into the floor. So you're not necessarily coming out this way. The big difference on this one is elbows are coming back, you're leaning forward, and then use that principle of peak activation here. So I, I really never see anyone do this at the gym. I see this right here. Like this is hitting my chest, but not in the optimal way, not in the way that's gonna really help you guys grow it. So watch this. Now I'm punching down to the floor and I'm crisscrossing, squeezing for a second, left over right. Left over right, right over left, I'm squeezing. So this whole workout guys, three total sets, 30 seconds time under tension. And then the fourth set, you're gonna bump up that weight about 30, 40% and you're gonna perform eight reps. So this right here, I'm thinking about punching into the floor. So we'll call these floor flies, teach you guys to really press downward. Another great way to maintain activation throughout the move here is shorten up the range of motion a tiny bit. Like you guys, not like right here, but you shouldn't come all the way up here where your elbows are flaring up and it's taking activation away from the chest. So think about just shortening that range of motion on the eccentric portion. So I'd say about right here, Right here, crisscross, right here, squeeze and crisscross. So we're up to the third move and that's going to target the upper chest. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that say, you just need to bench press to get a big chest. Guys, look at how a power lifter's chest looks. That lifts 500, 600, 700 pounds on bench press. Compare it to even a natural bodybuilder, not even like the IFBB pro guys, but a natural bodybuilder who really focuses on hypertrophy, peak activation. The natural bodybuilder almost never is doing sets in like the two to four rep range, maxing out on bench. So I know you guys are gonna see some great results with this. So make sure that you do this full routine. Of course you can add in, you can add in pressing movements to this. Like a great workout for me, I would do like a couple sets, barbell incline bench press, eight to 10 rep range, pull over, and then these three cable chest moves if you wanted to add on. Or you could do all three as its own workout. So watch this. I've shown you guys this in other videos, but I'm sure some of you guys are new here. So this is the Wolverine low cable fly. And this one, we're really gonna focus on, once again, peak activation and then coming upward. So think about a swooping upward angle and then squeeze and crisscross. And this one is gonna be a lot more targeted in the upper chest. So really think about crisscrossing right here. Let me show you guys one little tweak. If you guys are feeling this more in your anterior deltoid than your upper chest, I want you guys to try the second form on here. So. I'm actually gonna lower the weight to even lower. I'm going really light on this, guys. You don't need to go heavy. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm actually gonna take these extensions off. All right, watch this. I'm just gonna grab this little ball right here. Here we go. So watch this. I'm just gonna try to really do the fly motion at an upward angle. So really think about what you need to do to activate those upper chest fibers. So squeeze. So that's one little tweak. Um, I've shown a few people that and they actually prefer that version. So think about this motion right here. Crisscrossing, crisscrossing. Not right here, but really exaggerate it. In fact, do this at home. Really exaggerate this right here. I just got done doing a few reps of that. 
I really feel that right here. So it, once again, it's all about putting peak activation. So if you're putting peak activation on this motion right here, and you're doing as many reps as you can do, you're doing like your eight rep max, you're going fairly heavy and you're contracting here, your body doesn't know the difference between a bench press or a fly motion. It just knows you're putting overload and activation right on the targeted muscle. Give this video a big like, make sure you share it with your friend who is ego lifting on the bench press way too much. And we are up to today's giveaway now. This is the biggest giveaway in channel history because five people are going to win. I just got sent all of these boxes of Elf Lion gear, um, hundreds of shirts and hats. So I want five people to win from today's video. All you have to do to enter today's giveaway is comment down below what balloon method workout you want to see me perform on the cables next and really breaking down the form, giving you guys some outside the box tips. We have shoulders, biceps, or triceps. I have a killer workout. Of course, I'll probably do all three, but comment down below which one you want to see next and I will prioritize filming that one. So five people are gonna win. You must comment in the first three hours of uploading on all my giveaways. So make sure that you have that little notification bell turned on. Guys, these balloon method workouts are the real deal. Thousands of people all over the world are seeing insane results on the balloon method program. So if you wanna hop on a 12 week program and get lightning fast results for your specific physique goal, I'm gonna throw a link down below. It's gonna be the second link in the description. You can read all about the balloon method. Guys, I know you wanna keep on making gains. Click here, click here, click, 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 go. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights.